This video is part of a multi-series video set. This is step five, where we're reviewing the basics of importing a list and making it a Power App. And we're kind of going through this, these simple steps that you can do to make this a great Power App, Power, Power app and share it with others. So let's go ahead and jump to it. So today what we're gonna work on is, this page is kind of ugly, right? So not a lot of pizzazz to it. So let's go ahead and make a few <clears throat> modifications to it so that it looks kind of the way we want it to look, okay? So we're gonna take out title because we don't use title. Title's a hidden field in our list. So we don't need to have title in there. And now do you see how these are kind of, kind of big and clunky? Well, first of all, let's take a look at what the size of it is. That's, that's the first thing that we wanna look at. Now, <clears throat> remember we can see the size of the box here right, the data card itself, right? Here, data card, here, size. But here, this value, accountable, for some reason they default to um, 21. I like to de default down to 15, so we can just put in 15 here, okay? Now, great, this works. So here, it still doesn't look right, right? Because now it's just smaller, <laughs> it doesn't look right. <laughs> So here, what I do is look at the largest piece of data, which is comments. Let's move it down to 15 as well. And this is the answer that we put in right at 15. So what I like to do is go through and see which one is the longest one that I want to use. Okay. And I'm there. I don't want order. So I'm going to take that out and remember everything you do to this screen, we're going to have to do to potentially to the edit screen as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. So here we have these files here. Now we want to make this uniform and go at the same place. And the way we do that is to modify these features here. But let me show you what happens. When you go to the position, position number 30, for example, all right? So let's just change that and see what happens. When we go to 20, see how it moved over to the left a little bit? And let's go to 50. All right, see how it moved over again? So we have these numbers in here that are moving our text, and this is the X axis, okay? Now look at Y, I can't move Y. Now what it's saying to me is that, that whatever the data is, it's gonna do plus five. So you can have it automatically do that if you want, or you can do it manually yourself. Now a lot of times I just go in there and kind of dork it up, so if you, the trick here is if you move it back and forth and up and down once, <laughs> it'll get rid of it. There are other ways to get rid of the sizing as well. But here, I'm just gonna notice now I don't have those FXs. That's the easiest way that I've found to do it. There are better ways to do that. But nevertheless, we wanna get at the end of comments there. So let's go ahead and change this maybe to 80 and see where it goes. So we can just kind of move it over all the way over and there we are right about there. That's gonna be about right. So let's just say 180 here, all right? Just so we can remember. And then the Y axis is up and down. So let's see what we have here. Let's put in a zero, for example. Now, remember that this number is, is the value within, and this is a key thing to remember. It's the value within this box, not the value on the page. So let me show you an example here. So we're gonna set this one to exactly what we have this one set to. So it's 361. So let's move it to 350. Okay, or yeah, let's just move it to 350 for conversations like here. All right, so here, we're gonna move it to 350. Again, I have all that, I could delete it. I just kind of go up and down and over once and now I'm okay. Um, and we're gonna say the width is 350, okay? And then we're gonna put this at 180. Remember, this is where we had it. Now these two values line up, right? But here's what we wanna do. The height, by the way, we wanna make sure those are the same. So let's just say it's 30. I always try to put numbers in that are easier for me to remember. A lot of times I'll just write them down, but here we go, 30. And we wanna set Y to zero again. Now, one would think that zero would move this all the way back up to the top. That is incorrect. Zero does not move it all the way back to the top. It moves it to the top of its box. So not to the top of the form, but to the top of the card that it's working in. Do you see that card right there? So that's at zero. So let's pick on that one one more time. And there's a way to adjust it. Now, 
A lot of times I'll set mine to zero, but I'll use five as my padding. All right, so it kind of sets it off where I want it. And then again, I put five in for all of my padding. And now it's not right at the top of that form, right? It's just kind of right below it a little bit. And then I used to put them all at top vertical, but I now I keep them in the middle. The middle seems to work best. So that's kind of how you adjust the text. Notice I'm lining it up. Yes, it takes a little bit of effort. You got to do this, right? But you know, you can realign everything, get it all squared away, just like I showed you. Now, one last thing I'm going to show you before we leave here is we need to readjust this size. So let's just readjust this size. Again, it's a little bigger than what we want, right? So we're just going to do what we need to do there. All right. And now we're going to say that the position that we want is 30. Okay. And um, zero. Okay. So it's going to be at the top, but notice the height is set to 45. So we're going to set that to 30. And then the width is at 495. Let's set that to 50. Now, maybe 100. All right. Uh, maybe more than that. So we can kind of just play with it. 150. Yeah, that's good right there. All right. And then we make sure our padding is good. Now we're good. So this will be our standard right here. Now with this guy here, notice he's a little hard to click on. I can just go over here and click on him. Okay. Now I want to change his color. For example, I want to make his color, uh, I don't know, blue. Now blue. Let's make it red so we can see it. Okay. So I can do that. And then I can also, if I want, make that bold instead of normal. So I can do all types of things that I want to this um, to kind of make it stand out. So, and then of course I can do control Z to go backwards. So that's as easy as it is. Sorry, we ran over a couple minutes, but that's as easy as it is. Now you can move things around. There's some things that you need to be careful of. You can't move things. So if you get restrictions, like see how I can't move that? Well, the reason why I can't move it is because the, the box itself is only so big, right? This box is only so big, right? See that? So now I can move it around my box, right? So you get that? So you got to make sure the outside box will allow the inside box to move. That is probably the number one challenge that people have. And then the other challenge is here. Notice here I'm dragging from, I'm dragging what seems to be backwards, okay? This can get very frustrating when you're trying to put things in and move things around. I would not mess with it. Um, you can just do it through your numbers like I just showed you. Do it through these numbers. Then everything will stay consistent and it'll look very nice.